The, the little known, not the little known, the but the, 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 the King, King Daddle Dingo. The King DDD is out here, and it's and it's ready. <laughs> Are you ready? I, I don't know if I'm ready. I'm oh. gonna be honest with you, Momo. Yo, I swear, when I first went to Encore, I saw him pull out DDD. I'm like, guys, yeah, he's like, it was like Winter's Court. I'm like, why is he trolling? He's not guaranteed to win set. He's like, he's not trolling. He has a DDD. I'm like, he has a DDD. You play Peach. Why do you have a DDD? I forget every time. Why? Because it just feels like it shouldn't work, and then he works. And that's like, like, so that, that's like that's like Leo having like a pocket like plan. Like, why? Well, <laughs> Wait, I, I, okay, wrong top play. Me Sparkle having the pocket plan. Oh my gosh! Support your low tiers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, you're fine. Okay, okay maybe. Okay, maybe this is yeah, this, this is why you don't die to smash. Peach would die to that. Peach absolutely gone. Not even a question. Deleted. <laughs> But you got the shield art online, and that's one of like the dangerous things about like every matchup when it comes to Shulk, because it feels like you have to put in, you almost have to win neutral twice as much, right? Yeah. Once uh, the first time, shield art stops you from winning neutral. Yeah. And exactly. then you pivot off of it, or and you can even extend that to some of the other arts, like speed art and smash art, still change your knockback properties, even if it's not like negating it completely. Ooh, getting a little overzealous with that smash art dash attack on shield. Lane going all the way out there. Those there. five jumps are five jumps, right? All, five super, jumps. all of the jumps. Yeah, there we go. Link trying to get back there, keeping that ledge trap up perfectly. Gonna get back on the stage or two. But the, oh, the upper absolutely poking this DD from the absolute bottom. Oh, the Nair coming out. It's gonna take it. Oh my gosh. Solar is literally being sent to the moon. That was that DD Nair. DD 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 Day to day. Day to day. No. Team Dental Dingo. <laughs> Dingo Dino. Oh, Doobie Dino. Doobie Dino. Oh. <laughs> good, that was a good conversation. I'm glad we had it. I'm glad we put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> but I find it interesting how much time Soul Art spends as normal Shulk. Like, no arts Shulk. Okay. Like, granted, you remove all of the all of the weaknesses that you can potentially have when... Oh, that, that catch of the, gyro, of the Gordo was so good. What was I saying? Uh, there's two school, thought, yeah, two school of thoughts for Shulk, right? Yeah. Like, you use the arts early and try and take advantage of the full timer, or you win neutral first and then abuse the art. And it seems like, with the exception of exactly speed art, Soul Arts wants to save the full dial until after he gets that first hit, which can cause for some dilemmas like this, where you're suddenly just not willing to use your items until you're too late. Yeah, there are two wolves inside of you. Burn your arts at the beginning of the stock, so it can be easier to find those openings and find more damage. Or keep your arts until the end of the stock, so it can be easier to close out said stock, making it harder to actually get the damage up, though. And, and Soul Arts is going with the latter approach. And I mean, it's kind of struggling here, considering he's trying, finding it hard to find these hits against a character like DDD. Like, he's really out of that range, but that down air, not even needing Smash right there, because that down air probably would have taken it regardless. Yeah, I mean, it's a two frame, it's Spike, it's gonna do it. Oh, he's way on the art trigger. Had time to shield art that, but just didn't until it was a little bit late. He's like, wait a minute, I can cheat. He's like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> I have the red crayon. I can do this button and just didn't do it. I, I have the lemon sorbet. I forgot about that. Good use of this buster art, though. You got 55% for so, which value, the value of that is super high against a character like DDD, where every bit of damage matters. You want to make sure that you have buster art in almost constant rotation, just like smash art and the shield art as well. Like, that's, this is the benefit of saving your arts and you playing a lot of normal Shulk, is that your arts are online more frequently. Oh, no. Hit him with the... Oh, oh my god. Baby, oh, baby. Okay, PSA to everybody out there. It's 2023. Stop getting hit by Shulk up, up smash that ledge. Stop it. Stop it. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I, I know. I see you watching the stream. I'm looking at you. I know you got hit by. I know you got hit by uh, Dingleberry 31's up smash at the local. Dingleberry 31. I, I know you got hit by his up smash at the ledge. Stop that. Stop doing that. that was Th this is, okay. This was crazy though. That's crazy. That, no, that's, like jump art is low key the most broken art. Like low key on the lowest of keys because it. Changes like the reason that jump art has the lowest timer for any of the arts is because it would just let Shulk run away from you for like 10 seconds at a time, and it's like we don't want that to happen. And then they made Sonic, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but the, huh. the utility of jump art defensively is obviously already there, you get to come recover from near anywhere, but offensively, it's so underexplored because Shulk up air isn't exactly like a juggling up air, but it could be though, but it could be. If you have if you have setups like that ready and ready to go.
choke players, please. Like, innovate the meta. Choke player, please, like, follow Ramsey's example and actually lab your character. Shout out to Ramsey. Shout out to Ramsey. He got fifth today at a, at a EU look at a French um, Rego. He beat Mr. R. It was super Ooh, cool. go? Yeah. For him. Shulk's out here representing right now. Solar's up a game, but I'm still looking pretty good against Ling right now. Ling trying to get back on the stage with this, the Shulk ledge trapping. Like, that Nair literally covers the entire platform and the roll distance. That Nair yeah. covers four or five options. I'm not sure how I feel about the battlefield pick here, Momo, because, like, a lot of times, like, I, D to D is super slow, but uh -huh. if you're really concerned about the the speed and being less interactive, then I feel like you would want to go to a stage like Smashville or instead or uh, something akin to it. But Battlefield here almost feels like it feeds into what Shulk wants to do, which is like catch your landings and cover space even better than, hey. than what you expect. The Smash Art, though, still not doing it, trying to set up for another one of these down airs. Offensive jump bar. Uh, so. Offensive jump bar back again. Don't you love when you're commentating and then like the players validate you by doing the thing you were talking about? It feels good. Does it feel good? It, I, feels it good. should feel good. Well, my favorite analyst, knowing exactly what he's talking about. First Nair. Ooh. Now, Momo, I want to like... The Shulk rep his representation is like really strong right Okay. Because we're just seeing just Soul Guards dominate this, right? Mm. But in your opinion, like... What about this DDD is like really is what keeping Ling like on it for for a position like this? Like, I really want to hear like your your take on just just the predicament that we find ourselves in. I mean, it's just the fact that like you have range, obviously, or with that DDD forder and those Gordos, right? But Shulk, like, we don't think about Shulk, we think about frame data, right? But like in a matchup like this, a frame data really matters. Right? Those Shulk Forders, those Shulk Nairs, D doesn't really have an answer for that. He's trying to use inhale. He's trying to back up. He's trying to stay close to the ground. But how do you stay close to the ground when all Solaris is doing and telling you, get off the stage and deal with this? You have to literally wait for Solaris to live and maybe find the two-hit combo because it's King DDD. Right? Like, Solaris is doing a perfect job of keeping this DDD out by any means necessary. And even when the, the arts, especially when the arts come online, like, what is DDD realistically? Like, uh, come on! That was a DDD thing and you just got completely just goiked by it. Yeah, the only thing I feel like Ling has been missing other than just like getting out character sometimes. I mean, look at this, like mm. triple reverse Nair. There's no landing. Go to ledge oh, yeah. and potentially almost get obliterated for that exact cause. Like, I almost want to see more F tilt come out from Ling at this position because DDD forward tilt is pretty long, can kind of challenge that range, but just very, very little room for error. Finally, uh, like getting a grab. I want to say that mash out was intentional. The up tilt looking pretty strong. Uh, you know, Smash Art, like, you take so long to win neutral, and Shield Art just comes out in time. Oh, the trap could be huge here. And this is the thing, switching the matchup on its head, speedy ledge trapping, one of the, the greatest things about this character, right? But, of course, you mess up, and now you give she, she uh, control that uh, stage present. Oh, switching to the so Smash Art a little too early, and wait a minute, Ling can still be in this game. You know, I've seen worse. I've seen weirder positions, and I've seen DDD find some cheeky stocks. But it's just a matter with Smash I've, I've also seen online. DDD play the game. We, you've seen DDD play the game? I've seen DDD. Like that. Every stock is a cheeky stock. It's DDD. <laughs> no hate to DDD players. That character is very funny. But um, I, I've yet to see Yling have moments to play the game for very long, except maybe this string here to a nice tune of 42%. Soul Arts. Getting a little bit too comfortable with a couple of these air slashes as Smash Art comes back online up tilt, but no dice landing it. Finally, uh, using all of those jumps to his advantage and waiting out the Smash Art, finding a grab. Ling, tuning Wait this character back into his favor. Jump used, but nothing doing yet. Yet 155 coming, really figuring out like what hits can you take and what hits you can't here. Momo Ling is just doing so well, still surviving the battlefield blast that's coming in clutch. Oh, we got to switch to the jump bar. The offensive jump bar coming out. Like trying to get back in. Oh, Nair switching to the shield art early, knowing that combo is going to come out. Now trying to get the pressure up. Link trying to get back in this, using the four days, using those Nairs for a combo starter. Oh, Solar's full off the stage, still sitting here perfectly. Now trying to keep this DD out by any means necessary. 150%. That back air is most certainly going to do it. The pop off. Solar 2 0 over Ling. What a set, though. New York uh, is. North, Northern New York, Westchester, that area is uh, popping off New for York their State. boy. Something. Despite uh, despite the matchup, still thriving in 
and uh, getting into top eight after celebrating with his boys. We see Bobo. Shout out, Maddie. Let's go, Maddie. Let's go, Maddie. Like, yes. Solid stuff. Taking it over Ling. Yeah. And there we are. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Holy dove. Again, the next one. Oh, we still got. Oh yeah, we still got some more matches ready and rolling for the you guys. Last, uh, I think it's our last one. Yeah, let's go, Solar. It's yeah. Like, like I'm always here for characters that are like theoretically broken, uh -huh. right? Because like there's, we saw two of them actually here this very day uh, with Pikachu and Shulk, where it's mm. like these two characters are egregious. They are so strong. They are. Like, if, if you play them correctly, you should have, like, only these couple losing matchups, and you should be doing so, so well. But we just haven't seen it come into fruition for Shulk, not only in just in Smash Ultimate, mm -hmm. but also in Smash 4, where it's like, potentially, this character's amazing, and then it just never worked out. I, lo I love the, the form on that pop-off. That was great. That was amazing. Yeah. Like, very, very, very Perfect straight Perfect. Like, both mm. feet landed at the same time. That was that was good form. That was practice pop. Yes. That was literally perfect. You see that, bro? Just he knows. Very aligned.